the brain spouts out about 60,000 thoughts a day. And oftentimes we get hooked on these thoughts. These thoughts aren't generally unique, you know, they're often things that we tell ourselves over and over and over. And so when they kind of get repetitive, these types of exercises that I'm going to show you would be really, really useful to calm your mind's processing. All right, so first things first, we're going to take our hands. And if your hands are cold, that's great because it gives a bit of a shock to the system. If they're warm, that's fine as well. But we'll grab our hands and we'll take one hand and we'll put it on our forehead. Often it helps to keep your eyes closed as you do that. And you just want to hold that there. You want to kind of adjust it so that it feels comfortable. And then you take the other hand and put it on the back of your head. And you feel your palms as they press against your head. And you want to work with the pressure a little bit as well. You push a little bit and then kind of release a little bit, almost like a pulsing process there. Then you want to take a deep breath in. You want to do that for about 30 seconds or so. And then you take it down, you check back into yourself. You might still notice those thoughts going around and around and around. Um, you want to do that again, try it about three or four times, um, 30 seconds each and then notice how you feel. The other one that I've got is putting your hands on the side of your uh, temples over here. And you have your palms resting on your, on your jaw and you wanna slowly push and release. And go with your breath, push and release. You want to do about 10 repetitions of those ones. You might feel your pulse in the side of your temples and um, over about 10 or so repetitions, so that pulse will start to uh, slow down if this is a strategy that will work for you. The other strategy that I've got is putting both hands, one on top of the other, the front of your head, and you just want to hold that there for a moment. You can do that for about 30 seconds to a minute and see how that sits with you. And the final one, you want to make sure that you put one hand on your heart. It doesn't matter which hand that one is, whichever one's comfortable for you. And the other hand on your head. And you want to notice the space between your hands around this area as well. As you breathe in. And breathe out. So play with that a little bit, you know, change your hands and work with them. Uh, over time, you'll start to get used to these different exercises and start to notice which one works better for you. But as you play around with them, you'll start to notice that the mind begins to slow down, the thoughts become less intense. And at the, at the start of it, it's, it's probably going to continue to you know, rebel in your mind. You know, these thoughts are going to go around, 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 around until you get used to the process. And um, so give it, give it a few shots. And once you've done that, you'll start to notice the severity of these thoughts begin to decrease and ultimately really uh, subside and you can connect back to the here and now. It's hard. You know, life is tough. And there's going to be times where you feel really under the gun, really under pressure. So finding out a way of you know, managing these situations is, is the top process. I mean, this is, this is what humans are all about, finding ways to better yourselves if you can do this. So I hope this strategy has been useful for you. If it has, if you've watched the video up until the end, remember to subscribe, to like this video, to share it around, uh, follow me on uh, the socials, um, I'm on most of them, and share the word. You know, these sorts of things can be very, very useful and it helps me out a lot if you want to uh, help the channel out. So have a good day and I'll see you next time.